The Socrates tool is licensed to manage using FlexNet Publisher. There are two kinds of license that apply to Socrates. The license for the Socrates program itself and a license that applies to a specific IP. Not all IPs require such a license, but if they do, this license is supplied with the IP and is in addition to the Socrates license. An example of an IP-specific license is the CMN600 IP, which comes with a Socrates license which applies limits to the configuration space for the IP. This type of license is supplied with the IP deliverables. The Socrates program license could be a full Socrates license or a reduced feature set license depending on which product you licensed from ARM. This license is supplied as part of the Socrates deliverables. Socrates uses floating licenses. This type of license gets installed into a license server and then anyone with access to the server can use the license. The seat count associated with the license limits the number of simultaneous users. So, for example, if your seat count was one, only one user will be able to use the license at a time. If your company uses centralized license servers, then this is all best handled by your company's IT department. But if not, I'm going to assume you wish to install and run the license server on the same computer as you will use Socrates. So our first task is to install the license server on your computer. ARM Socrates uses the FlexNet Publisher license server. If you don't already have the installer for this, you can download it from https colon forward slash forward slash developer.arm.com forward slash flexnet hyphen binaries. At the time this video was made, the latest version available was version 11.15.0.0, and so for a Linux installation of Socrates, you should select Flexnet Publisher version 11.15.0.0 for Linux 64 bit. Let's unpack this into a directory called FlexLM. So let's make the directory, change into it, and then use the tar command to unpack the binary. One of the unpacked files is called makelinks.sh, which we should run now to make some useful links, some of which we will use in this video. Before we can run the license server, we need to get some licenses for it to serve. So let's go and do that now. When you receive a license, it comes in the form of a serial number. This is not the license itself, but a code you can use to generate the license. To convert the serial number into a license, you must use a web browser to connect to https colon forward slash forward slash developer.arm.com forward slash support forward slash licensing or alternatively from the main developer website choose the tools and software menu and click on licensing this will take you to the arm software licensing page click on the generate button if you have not already logged in you will be asked to log in to your arm account your arm account must match the account the serial number has been assigned to after logging in, you should input your serial number and click the Get License button. Check that the details match the product license you were expecting, and if all looks good, fill in the seat quantity and host ID information. For a simple local license server, you need only input one host ID. The two other host IDs are for resilience and their use is beyond the scope of this video. Consult your documentation if you are interested in this licensing feature. For the host ID type, you have two options. We are going to select Ethernet, in which case the host ID value is the Ethernet address of the host's network interface. The license server software we installed earlier comes with a utility to show us the address value we should use. So run the LM host ID program and ask it to generate the ID for the Ethernet option. Type in the ID value into the host ID field. Click the Generate button and then click the Confirm button, followed by the Download License button. On the next screen, click the Download button to save the generated license into the license.dat file to your computer. You now have the license itself. 
We now have the license software unpacked and we have the license file. I'm going to show you how to run the LMGRD license server on your Linux machine running under your own username and how to configure it to serve the license you just downloaded. You may also wish to refer to chapter 10 in the fnp underscore lic admin dot pdf file for further details. Our agenda from here on in is to first create a license configuration file for the license server. Next, run the server in non daemon mode to make sure everything works. Then, run the server as a daemon. And finally, show you how to add further licenses and inform the server about them. The license configuration file is almost the license.dat file you downloaded from ARM. Open up the downloaded file in a text editor. There are two changes you need to make to the file. The first is to change the this underscore host text with the host name or IP address of the server, in this case, your Linux machine. For my system, this is socrates.arm. It is also recommended to specify a fixed port number for the server to use. A common choice for this port number is 8224, although any unused port number above 1024 is OK. I'm going to use 27002. Save the license.dat file into the same directory as the lmgrd program, in my case the flexlm directory I made earlier. We can now test out the license server by running the lmgrd program and pointing it to the license file. If all is well, no error messages should be displayed and the output should contain information about the running server. For Socrates to use the server, we must set an environment variable to point Socrates at the license server to use. Note how we use the same port number as we specified in the license.dat file, and notice how we use the same hostname. Once we have done this, we can run the Socrates health check program. One of the checks performed is to check the license server is serving a Socrates compatible license. Running it now, shows that the license server is running as expected. To shut down the license server, we can run the lmdown program, pointing it at the license file. Now we know how to start and stop the license server and that it is working fine, we can convert it into a service which the OS will automatically start for us each time it boots up. To do this, you need to be running as root on your system or alternatively make use of your sudo group privilege. Use a text editor to create forward slash etc forward slash systemd forward slash system forward slash flexlm.service with the content as I show here. You will need to change the user path preferences and save the file. We then need to run, again as root or using sudo, system control daemon hyphen reload to let the daemon service know that we have updated its configuration files. We can now start the service using system control start flexlm.service and check it is running OK using system control status flexlm service. To stop the service, you can use system control stop flexlm.service. To get the service running automatically at boot, we can use system control enable flexlm.service. Next time the system boots, the license service will be started automatically. Finally, I want to show you how to add new licenses to the license file and to inform the server about these new licenses. As an example, Suppose we are given a new serial number for a CMN600 license to allow us to build a CMN600 interconnect. We first need to convert this into an actual license file, just as we did before. We can download this license file and open it up in a text editor. We need to extract the main contents of the new license. That is the section I am highlighting here and add it into the license file our license server is currently using. We can add the new license details just after the main one. Now let's save the updated license file to disk.
Next, we need to inform the already running license server about the updated license file. So we again need to be root, or use sudo, to issue the reload command, system control, reload, flexlm.service. Let's check the license server is still OK using the status check command, system control, status, flexlm.service. That seems to be fine. You can also use the lmdiag command, pointing it at the license file the server is using, to see the complete list of licenses the server will issue. Also, don't forget you can use the Socrates Health Check program to check that Socrates can talk to the license server. So in summary, I have shown you how to convert serial numbers into license files using the license portal on developer.arm.com. I've shown you how to install and run the license server on your Linux computer. I've shown you how to use a Socrates installation health check program to make sure Socrates can talk to the license server. I've shown you how to get the license server to run as an OS service and start automatically on boot. And I've shown you how to add new licenses to your license file and letting the license server observe the updated licenses. If you have any further issues with licensing, please feel free to contact the ARM support team who will help you solve your problem.